<laughs> the principal of a Taranaki school, which has become the latest to scrap voluntary fees and donations, says he hopes it will relieve pressure on struggling families. Now, Waitara High School is believed to be the first secondary school to formally axe the payments. And it joins the ranks of Kahurangi Primary School in Wellington and Ross Intermediate in Palmerston North, which have also done it. Our Taranaki Whanganui reporter, Robin Martin, who has been on fire for checkpoints so far this year, has more. A decile three school, Waitara High has a roll of about 350 and typically raised between thirty and $50,000 a year in donations and fees. The school's principal, Daryl Warburton, says donations started at $120 a year while fees were also collected for course-related costs and things such as trips and camps. Mr Warburton says this could amount to hundreds of dollars and was a burden on parents. For the hassle of asking that and also the... You know, we don't want to put guilt trips on parents. You know, we think we're funded fairly uh, to meet the needs of what we, what we want to deliver. And um, so we thought it was just a complete waste of time asking for those things. Mr Warburton says he's committed to the concept of a free education. You know, we pay taxes so that our kids can have a free education. And, uh, and I'm really happy to do that and, and really believe in that. So we wanted to try and take that load off parents. But yeah, sure, there's heaps of parents that, that can't meet them and, and I don't want them to feel bad because they can't meet a donation that's kind of strongly implied, which many schools do. Mr Warburton believes it will take the school a minimal amount of belt tightening to make up for the shortfall. Mum of five, Marcia Hawi Akinwumi, was at Waitara High today arranging the enrolment of her daughters, Terena and Shekama. Ms Hawi Akinwumi says the school's new policy is wonderful. Oh, that'll make a huge difference. It'll take a lot of burden off our shoulders. It'll take a lot of burden off our shoulders as parents. I, I think this should, um, this should happen for, introdu be introduced to other schools around New Zealand, to all schools, to all schools. Ms Hawi Akinwumi says everyone in her family has had to make sacrifices for education in the past. We have to go without as parents at times to provide this, the funding for our children to have a better education in life. Yeah, they have to miss out on camp. They have to miss out on a lot of things. Kyron Smith is the principal of Kahurangi Primary, which has been completely free since opening its doors five years ago. Ms Smith says it's been an eye-opener. The experience for our families has been in the way of every child is getting to participate and there's not the stress of them being able to afford the experiences they want their children to be involved in. Ms Smith says it's exciting to see a high school moving towards a free model. Especially in secondary school, you know, the children are probably making some of the decisions by their parents and not wanting to put that stress on their families. So they do protect their families from all the bills that they could get to participate. The president of the Principals Federation, Fetu Cormick, says he's delighted with Waitara High School's move. Mr Cormick thinks it might be in response to the Labour Party's election pledge to end voluntary donations via its $4 billion plan to revitalise the education sector. He warns, however, not all schools will be in a position to follow suit. The reality is that in this school funding is increased. Um, schools will increasingly, increasingly be asked to um, ask their families to provide donations. So um, it's great that the school um, has made a commitment, but the fact that, that many schools are not in that position to be able to do that. Labour's campaign promise still needs to go through the Cabinet process and be considered alongside other initiatives for Budget 2018. I waitara, motihotaka o te ahiahi. Ko Robin Martin Ahau.